Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last video you'll see with me in a traveling setup. Let's go. Once again, thank you all for your patience. Your boy Ray doesn't go on that many vacations and you guys made it quite a bit less stressful even during a busy period for Brawl Stars while covering it for content creators. So thank you guys, I was able to relax. But it is time for Brawl News. So we are starting this video off with some very, very good news. Taking a look at a tweet coming out on the Brawl Stars Twitter page, highlighting a story that we discussed in the last episode here on the channel, saying maintenance break coming right up with a few different changes in the update. Of course, bugs are pretty dang frequent whenever a new update comes out here inside of Brawl Stars. But the biggest thing in this tweet is towards the bottom about the issues with the eSports spray purchases. We are refunding the players who got these by accident while the bug was ongoing and the sprays will be removed from those accounts at a later date. So of course, as we covered in the last episode, there was a very rare bug or glitch here when it came to a few Few different sprays in the game when purchasing it for bling we highlighted a post here from pineapple expressing his stress into not buying or participating in the glitch as tantalizing as it is taking a look at it here you are met with a few sprays showing this display where if you clicked on a straight up missing green bar there's supposed to be bling there but if you selected it it would say confirm purchase for zero bling however when you would select the zero bling thinking you're going to get a free spray, it would then deduct the amount that the spray was from your gems. So because of this and the sprays that this bug actually worked on, we were seeing individuals losing upwards of 174 gems in one go from one bug. So of course that is quite the impactful bug. And it's great to know that we are going to be getting that back. I'm sure if you guys ended up doing the bug or the glitch, you have gotten your gems back already via your inbox. If not, just wait a little bit more patiently I'm sure it will be coming your way here shortly. Hey, yo, daily gifts. Let's go give me those 100 power points, baby. But moving along here to our next bit of news. As you guys can see, we are currently closing in on season 19, where we can rip around with the newest Brawler Cordelius, as well as all of the fun progression coming along with the brand new Brawl Pass. Dude, and I gotta say, the promotional artwork for Cordelius's release here is phenomenal. You can't run, you can't hide. Cordelius is coming tomorrow with the Enchanted Woods Burrow Pass. It is so freaking cool. I love this like Stranger Things vibe from Cordelius here. We're seeing some pretty dang crazy landscapes in the background. It looks like we're in that like upside down glitched world that Cordelius runs and it also looks like Cordelius brought Colt here with him and several people pointed out that in the reflection his hair is being removed, kind of resembling what Sam would look like here in the future. Super, super cool. We have this individual pointing out the resemblance here. It's so interesting, even down to the two strands of hair left there at the top of the head. Now that is exciting in and of itself. Cordelius's mechanics seem really, really exciting, and I've already been seeing some interesting exploits with his mechanics that might be pretty dang impactful in certain game modes, which we'll cover when the time comes. But the reason I'm bringing this up is an interesting tweet from this individual over here on Twitter, which I'm not sure if this is a joke or not, but it looks so dang real. It appears that we might be seeing some sort of Cordelius sneak peek or having an influence in the game before he is actually released, which we indeed had before here in the game when Gus was released. I'm sure you guys remember the glitch where bots were utilizing Gus before he was actually released and people were trying to find footage of him being played and the mechanics and how he was being played and things like that. But here, it's definitely not as big of a gameplay influence from Cordelius, but we see this individual opening up a star drop and actually getting a Cordelius spray. Super, super interesting. The reason I am kind of thinking it could be real is the fact that Cordelius is in game right now in the Brawlers Coming Soon section. But as you can see, out of an epic star drop, he gets that Cordelius spray. So it's like he's lingering in that alternate dimension that he is fond of. So who the heck knows what's going on here right now? And I would love to see anything further from this interesting glitch, even though we only have it for like 17 hours before it's actually interesting, right? Once Cordelius is released and the spray is just in the game as any spray would 
would be it's going to lose its impact but where the heck did the spray go i would love to see where it is in the collection and trying to select it and things like that if it is indeed real but we may have had some influence from cordelius in his alternate dimension with a spray popping up in a star drop that might actually have happened to some of you guys out there i would love to see some confirmation in the comments if you too got something like this but moving along moving along to another weird gem glitch going on here not sure what is influencing gem prices to be so bugged out with this update it might very well be star drops but nevertheless it's incredibly interesting as you guys can see if we end up going to the esports pins here that are sometimes offered in the game and we click the $1.99 button we see what it is in gem prices confirm purchase negative one gems bro so this is better than free right this cost negative one gems wouldn't that mean that you would get one gem back if you purchased this pin but of course I think it's just a visual bug because it just triggers the $1.99 purchase prompt where you have to plug in your different information or to purchase it but still it's super super interesting every single one of these are negative one gems no idea why <laughs> Moving along to our next bit of news, and I gotta be honest, this one is incredibly fun. Here on this channel, I'm sure you guys are well aware that I like rare things, things that don't happen very often. A lot of the time having to deal with people going away from their account for years and logging back on and seeing weird reimbursements, things from the past show up on their account nowadays. We've seen things such as people collecting tickets years, years later, and so many other amazing things and this kind of fits in that same ballpark here we have this individual dreaming gus saying uh are you okay mr brawl box if you take a look at his notification in his inbox it says brawl boxes are no more all your previously stored boxes have been auto claimed trophy road rewards so this notification and the auto collection of the brawl boxes actually happened a few updates ago if my memory serves me right it happened in the candy land update theme so this individual didn't log back into his account for a very long time, maybe spurred on by the intrigue of the free rewards, the free brawlers, which we touched on in a recent video here on the channel, logging into some of his older accounts, and he was hit with this prompt. Now, of course, brawl boxes are no longer here in the game, so what happens if you collect brawl boxes, which aren't a thing in Brawl Stars? Let's take a look. So he hits claim, box rewards claimed, and they are tweaking Dude, Brawl Stars as it is now is literally pushing back at this thing's existence saying, no, 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 no. Pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back as much as it possibly can until the box just wigs out and gives him a free bull. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious, dude? It is so dang funny how games work sometimes. It's just like the pure embodiment of you're not supposed to be here, bro, box, and we're gonna make sure you feel it. You got the symbol with the dash through it. The boxes have been canceled. It's so freaking funny, man. It's a great, great post. And I would love to see. Make sure to log into some of your older accounts. Maybe you'll get this prompt as well. Super interesting. But the final bit of news that we need to get into here in this episode today is a little bit of an update from Danny here four days ago saying, I know there are bugs, but tomorrow we'll be filming another time to explain. The special guest this time is these two individuals and possibly a game designer. And we'll talk about brother and skin concepts and fan art, fan art in general. If there's anything related to the topic of art you would like to hear about, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. Dude, these things are turning into some of my favorite pieces of content to come out of the Brawl Stars community. Not only is it an interesting listen, but a lot of the time we get interesting update sneak peeks from them. So make sure to stay tuned. I'm sure this will be coming out sometime in the very near future, and I'll be covering it in its entirety if we do get any interesting info from it. But hey, always great news to know that one of these are right around the corner. But there you have it, everyone. That's just about all I got for you here in this episode of Brawl News. Hopefully you all found it enjoyable or useful. If if you did, make sure to slap a like on it. I'd really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun, Brawl Stars, and we'll see you guys in the next one. The next time I'll see you is in my office. Let's go. Adios, and take care.